North Texas gets a brand new Bucky's next month, and you can bet cars will be lining up. Yes, they will, but uh, that new traffic could add to what's already becoming a big headache for drivers. Joven Panneker reports from Denton County. Take one of the busiest highways in the state, add road work, and it has the makings of a mess. This is the slow crawl during rush hour on I-35E through Denton. As of late, this four-lane road has become a hot spot for crashes. Falling too close, being impatient, not being observant. Uh, we have a lot of, you know, rear end accidents, things of that nature. We're talking a stretch barely a mile. Denton police says there were 50 to 60 crashes already this year. Yeah, I'm looking at the traffic conditions on the Google map. Pritham Deshmukh is the city traffic engineer. In the northbound direction, there's red all the way to loop 288. We have not told you yet the next big thing to happen to Denton a Bucky's. It's scheduled to open almost six, seven months before the construction is complete. Pritham says that wasn't always the case. TxDOT now has two projects going here. One of those projects built specifically to handle Bucky's traffic in November. When all parties sat down a couple years ago, we were definitely coordinating everything to open and happen at the same time. We reached out to Bucky's late in the evening, but have not heard back. One stalled semi made going north on I-35 miserable on Monday. Police is still working through how to patrol this area. We lose our shoulder. Uh, we can't set stationary patrol out there to help to monitor things, so that makes it, it tighter for us. Between the city, police, and Texas, there continues to be meetings on how to safely get 100,000 cars up and down I-35E every day. Patience is something we may all need, because this is a lot of moving pieces. Pun intended. Jordan Panniker, Channel 8 News.